Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you three ways of reading infotypes from the SAP HCM module. Infotypes consists of four numbers. The employee's details are recorded in different infotypes, such as personal data, bank details, address, and so on. So I'm here in the transaction PA20, and these are some other infotypes like basic pay and addresses, organizational assignment and so on. So, and now the first way is select the infotype data directly from the table. In my example, I want to read the infotype 105 and I read this from the table PA0105 into table into a structure and I pass a personal number here and after the select I set a breakpoint so I can show you the info the data in the debugger so activate and run the code we double click on the structure ls info type 105 and we see here the uh, info the data the different columns with the data in it. So the important data for me here is the user type and user ID. And this is the first variant. So the next variant is to call a function module. For this, we click here on pattern and I call the function HR read info type. Here we see some mandatory exporting parameters like uh, personal number and info type and the table info type tab. So I pass here the personal number and the info type 105 and the info type tab. And for this, I have to declare the structure. So I declare here the LS info type 105 of table type or type table of PA0105. So let's try this one. So let's see if this works. I paste here the structure, activate and run the code. Double click on the structure. And if we check the data, we see there is something wrong. We see the personal number is not valid. Mandant is not right and so on. There, there are some, some problems with the, with the data here. And the reason is because the table uh, consists of the column Mandant. So we have to pass here to declare here the structure. So I check this in the transaction SE11 or I show you this. So I type here the database table PA105 and we see here the column mandant, the client. And we, we don't pass the client by the fun uh, function module. We don't, and here in the structure, we don't have the, the mandant, the client, and this is the right structure we need in the function module. So we are not allowed to uh, pass the mandant here. So let's check again. And now we see the correct data, the correct assignment to the columns. Okay. So the next way is the object oriented way. And for this, I create here and try and catch block first. Try and catch CX HRPA violated assertion. And, and try. And then I create an instance 
with clhrpa read info type then i call the method get instance and here i have to pass the importing parameter info type reader and here i declare my object object info type and then i use this object and i call the method read and we have here some exporting parameters similar to the function module parameters so i can copy the personal number and the info type from the function module code but here we have more mandatory fields so first i declare the info type tab and here i declare the ls info type pre 105 and i explain this later why i call this structure pre 105 so as i said before we have here more mandatory parameters like t class and a means here that it is master data or time data then we have to pass the begin and end date and the parameter no out check so these are the mandatory parameters activate okay we have a typo here with the end date then pretty print and we see here that the pretty print in the se80 is not the best if you're code object oriented so i open the eclipse the ABAP development tools here i click on refresh so i get my code and here we can format the code with the if I click on the menu source code, then clean up with automated ABAP cleaner. And we see here pretty nice formatting with the ABAP cleaner. We activate this code here and we go back to the SE80. Why SE80? Because I have to uh, have to hide too much in the ABAP development tools in the Eclipse because there is some information about the system of my development system and my username and so on. So I show you this in the SE80. Okay, so debugging mode, click here on the structure, on the pre-structure, and we see here the structure. It's a structure for all info types. So we see here different data columns and flag columns, and some information is um, together stored in, in some columns, like the user type and the user ID. And to to get the info type 105 structure we have to cast the data and i cast the data with the class clhrp n n n n typecast and here i call the method prelp to p n n n tab exporting parameter is my pre structure of the info type 105 and the importing parameter is my normal structure of the info type 105 so i copy this structure here and i command the function module call okay pretty brain and activate okay we have to declare the structure first activate again okay so let's run the code now let's click on the ls info type 105 structure double click here and we see now the uh, columns which are in the info type like user type and user id now the info is split it again in different columns and yes this is the info type uh, structure the info type logic and um, the number range 9000 to 9999 is uh, reserved for customer and not standard SAP form yes um, yes that was it 
If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.